Hi you guys do welcome back to the channel once again I'm hoping you guys are having a great day today and everything you try to accomplish this year it becomes into reality welcome back to the channel I know it's been over a month since I haven't posted it's been ugly weather and you know and I haven't been motivated enough I've been struggling trying to lose weight and you know that's crazy but anyways if you're back to the channel i really appreciate you thank you for another 600 subscribers more we continue to grow and i'm very happy thank you for all your support uh i want to give you an update joe doesn't work here anymore joe quit on me again so the 240 gets to stay with me yeah <laughs> anyway uh good news is we got a, a, a new guy here his name is kevin this is good. I'm kevin, kevin. Kevin is 19 years old, another young guy. He didn't know how to work on cars. He, he's currently working, uh, learning a slow process. You know how it is. It's not easy to teach people how to work on cars, but we're getting it done. I think he's number eight, eight employee that I'm teaching him how to work on cars. So for all you haters that come to the channel before you start saying anything, remember he's a beginner, yeah, I'm all right? Learning. I'm the man with the master plan, so you gotta come to me, ask me what's going on. I tell you, I take you to school for free 99. Just subscribe, boys. You know how it is. Anyways, another thing is, I wanna tell you guys, uh, YouTube has notified me that 90% of the people that visit the channel don't subscribe. So if you're already watching, come on, man, subscribe. Stop being a hater all your life, man. It's never too late, you know what I mean? So, Scott, man. Uh, what I'm about to do right now is uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a wheel bearing on the 1999 2500 HD. Uh, I think 99 and 2005 are the same thing. But I guess this is going to be the last time I shoot a, a, a DIY video on how to fix this uh, calipers, not calipers, wheel bearing. Because a lot of bolt-on wheel bearings are the same thing, okay? But since I haven't posted, I'm going to go ahead and do this for you guys, alright? So this is this is the tools that you're going to need. Alright? You're going to need a breaker bar. A half-inch breaker bar. A 17-inch wrench. A bone. They, I call it the bone. We call this the bone. I don't know what you guys call it. Uh, 10 millimeter. 15 millimeter. Uh, clip removal tool 36 uh, socket half inch 36 socket and 20 21 uh, half inch socket all right that's all you're gonna need to do the job as you guys can see over here we already finished on this side this one got a new wheel bearing I mean wheel bearing a new uh, yeah wheel bearing um, I'm checking the brakes too. Oh yeah, um, John, if you're watching this, check this out, bro. I'm doing you solid. I'm also changing your brakes, okay? Because I told you they were done so. So there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the other side now. So I'm gonna show you how to change it, all right? And if your truck looks like this or similar to this, this is a four by four, all right? All wheel drive. Uh, this thing wastes a lot of gas. Uh, however, it's a very powerful truck. I like it. It's a 2500. So if the truck looks like this, there you go. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and put the brakes on this side real quick. And after I finish, I'm going to start the installation, all right? So we already got the truck on top of the lift, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the wheel right now.
So we're, we're gonna remove this cap. Cap right here, right here, screwdriver. Just pry it out slowly. Comes right out. All right, nothing to it. Go to the side. Remove this 10 millimeter bolt right there because uh, you have to remove the line from the uh, caliper because you want to hang it somewhere. What was it, a 17 or 19? That was a 19. So you need a 19. 19. Come here, man. Do it for me, man. Hey, up here on the on the recording spot, does it still have the red line? Yeah, it's still blinking. Record? Okay. Just got to make sure. What we're going to do right now, we're going to remove the, uh, the caliper out of the way. Because the caliper has to come out. Why, it's too hard? Oh, yeah. It's down. Mm -hmm. Down. You're going up? I'm going down. Yeah. No, I say right now, before. Bro, your, your, your fro just catch all the trash that was around the fender line. <laughs> Uh, we, do you think we need a... Uh, yeah? You can't get it there? No, I can't. Well, you can take your glove off before you do that. You're going to put all that grease in your head. All right. But then we got the breaker bar. Here. Oh, but we need a 19 socket. You need a haircut, bro. I don't even need to do my hair. When I first started working here. What happened? And I had my hair differently. Oh, it's not a 19. It's, I think it's an 18, man. You sure it's a 19? That's what I was using, man. Let me see. It's an 18, bro. I'm so guys, you need an 18 millimeter socket too. So is it in there? You one the 18. Yeah, I don't know. The 18mm socket. No. Oh here it is. What? Oh, this is a different size, man. This is a seven eight. No, man. Where's where did the eighteen millimeter socket go, man? Man, check over there. Check over there. The eighteen. Oh man, come on. No? Man, you tell me somebody walked out with it.
Man, somebody, somebody took it, man. You don't got it in the box. Nah, what? Here it is, fool. All right, never mind. Nobody took it. We got it. Push down with the breaker bar here. Go ahead. No, there's a dump top one. Watch your head again with the dust and the ground, right? Alright. You're too strong, bro. Alright, get it out with the bone now. Here. Alright, so you need an 18 millimeter socket and break a bar just in case the bolts of the caliper are too tight. You got it out, Doc? Both of them? Yeah. And now uh, you gonna have to... Sometimes these calipers here, they get stuck. Like this one, see? It's getting stuck. So it doesn't want to come out. So, grab a, a screwdriver. And you go inside there and you try to push the... Uh, Caliper back. In my opinion, guys, he's supposed to change the calipers too because this truck has 200 and something thousand miles already. And I know these calipers are worn out because when they don't want to come out easily. Man, this caliper don't want to come out, broski. All right, there you go. Hey, can you grab that wire? All right. So the caliper is out. But I just hang it right there, boom. So find like a hanger wire, that's what I have. I'm just gonna hang it up right there, guys. So get it out the way. Go ahead, bro. All right, you got it? All right, so there you go, you see? We cut a piece of hanger, hanger wire, and let it hang right there so you get it out the way. So next thing you know, you're gonna go ahead and uh, take the uh, break. Go ahead, take the break, take the break out though. Kevin here gonna take the brakes out. Chizy. Let me see that one so I can show them how worn out they are. Check. 
Check this out. Brake brake pads are done. Look at that. Worn out. All right, next thing you know, we're gonna remove the uh, caliper bracket from the back of the uh, control, or no, from the hub, back of the hub, the control arm. Uh, this one is uh, 21, so bring the 21. Again, break a bar. 21, here, come here, come here, dog. Same way. Grab, grab the other breaker bar, that's that way it give you more leverage. Yeah, there you go. Alright. One. Put, put it on there. Uh. Alright. <laughs> Two. Them really stuck on there, guys. Uh, remember, when you put it back, I don't know the torque specifications. If you guys want to find out, you can jump on Google and just type it. Uh, I'm going to torque it down by hand so you're not putting an engine block together so you don't have to be really uh, put it to torque, torque specification. So. But if you guys do want to know, you go online. I'm not going to do it like that. I'm just going to tie it by hand with the back back up there with the breaker bar. It's going to be okay. It's just the caliper bracket. It ain't going to go nowhere. Don't be scared. And if you have negative comments, keep it to yourself. Because at the end of the day, I've been doing this for so long. And I worked on all my cars and I have never had a problem. Now, when you torque the head of the engine, then yeah, you're going to need to torque it down to to the two aspects but this you know it's it's just a, a bracket so no big deal same thing with this bolt right here with the uh with the axle nut same thing and let it let it fall man it's okay it ain't gonna, gonna happen to it i'm holding it by the way Oh, and another thing I don't like about the GoPro, the battery dies within 30, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we have to hurry up. All right, so there you go. Caliper is out. Rotor's gonna come out. Rotor's gonna come out. The rotor is out. And, uh, get the gun down. And put it right here. Uh, the 36, 36. The axle nut is out. And now, come on, go get the 14, bro. 15, all right. This one's. So you got four, four nuts behind the uh, the wheel bearing that's holding it. Here you go. Yeah, get it, get it, get it with this. Hit it, hit it with the hand. We try to put the uh, half inch socket, I mean the 15 socket back there, but it don't fit. So you're gonna have to do it like that. I mean, that's the only way we was able to get to it. No, make sure, make sure, remember that? That's why I was telling you to hold it. Wait, just make sure you don't hit my hand. You got it? Here, hold it. You hold it from the back and I go ahead and hit it. Yeah.
Yeah. Put it again. Ah, good. Ah, move it again. Move it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys back there. Look, look, look how confined it's back there. Up here you'll be able to put it, but up there in the, in the bottom, you can't. We tried that already. But let me see. So we're going up now, right? Yeah. Up. No, we're going this way now. Yeah. Remember to the left is to untie, to the right is to tie. I didn't get it. Did I, didn't I get like three of them like that? What is this? Uh, it's already chopped off. What yeah. the heck? <laughs> the the speed sensor is already broken from this one. I don't see. Damn. You're not even on there. Come on this side. I am on it. Hold on. Let me see. Where's the 15? It only looks like I'm not on it. Here. The guy's gonna call me and tell me, hold on. I'm like, what the heck, man? I told him, call me back. <laughs> I think he was trying to do three-way calling. <laughs> Great. You see what I was telling you guys? There's no space. So that's why we're doing it like that. Put it on. You can't put your hand through the back of the the back of the nut. Yeah, there you go. Alright, It came out. It's still on there. It came out. It's still on there. Still on there? Yeah. Make sure that it's tight it's though. It's on there. Put some WD-40 in there. Let's try it one more time. Was it loosening already or not? No. It was nothing? Let me see, hold on. Take it out, take it out. Hold a minute. One more time. Let go, let go, let go. Okay, now go ahead. Turn up, turn up, put it in there. You in there? You in there? Yeah. Ah, damn. Here, pull, pull, pull. All right, yes. Now the other one. Here, pull. Now go ahead, take them out.
Hello, how are you doing? Are you, are you the one that called? Where's the car at? Can, can, can you park right there in the first parking space? Just pull in straight. Okay. Yeah. The first one right there. Yeah, go ahead, help her out, and then I'll go ahead and finish this. Alright guys, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to finish taking the bearing out. Oh, I think I do have it. I hope I didn't sell it. Look for it, it's against the wall. The you tire before you do anything. Already? Huh? You told her the price already? You told her the price already? No, not yet. I'm not gonna tell But her. hold on. First see we we have the tire. Right. Just wiggle it around. And there goes your bearing, guys. There you go. We are done. So now, you get the new one. Yeah, we got it, bro. Huh? We do? All right, 45. How good is it? Go look at it. So here's the new bearing. Before you put, any, put it back on or anything, match it up. Make sure that it's the right one, the correct one. Take the shield plate out, because you're gonna need it. This one's stuck in there. Bring it, get closer. It's 225, 45? Yeah. 17. Okay, yeah, 45 of them. So look. So, this is what you do. But anyways, because the camera is about to die, guys, you just match it up. Make sure that you got the correct bearing. Uh, remove the shield plate, put it in here, and then follow the same guy how you took it out. Put it back on and everything, and tie everything correctly. Make sure that everything's tied on good. And that's it, you're done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope this DIY video helped you guys uh, change your bearing as well. Uh, you have made it to the end of the vlog, video, whatever you wanna call it. If you're new here for the first time, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one, okay? All right, we out.